also new with the Vault 2012 family products is uh, a, a different where used analysis. Prior to 2012, Vault had three different major areas. We had Vault Explorer, which is where all the files lived. We had the Item Master, and then we had the Change Order. If a file was used in an item and that item was on a change order, we could get there. We could go and browse and go from file to item to change order and repeat. With 2012, we now have the ability to see from the file world a where used analysis. Oftentimes, um, analyzing the impact of change. Should I change this? Should it be revised? Should it be a whole new part number? Is something that is part of the data management workflow and it's something that can uh, take up time in a user especially a designer an engineer a drafter somebody who's chartered with CAD work it takes time for them inside a vault to go and find out well where is this all used and now from one location the the where use tab we can enable a filter and say well where is it used tell me every place that this particular record this file is accessed throughout the entire vault The where use navigation allows us to go in and take that filter and uh, show everything inside a vault. So uh, other, other things that we've added to the 2012 release that are a direct benefit to the customers and people using vault and actually to you as you go in and you show vault, uh, the, the ability to navigate a data management system is, uh, it's been enhanced inside of 2012. We now have a much more easy streamlined navigation. We can configure the user interface. Oftentimes we've heard that uh, there's too much text on the screen and they people use thumbnails. They turn on, they want that that instant uh, gut feel picture thumbnail of a particular file. Well now we can collapse the project tree, collapse the navigation tree, turn on large icon view, uh, customize it and tweak the interface to uh, make it a little bit more palatable for people. So inside of 2012, as you see in the image here, we have the ability to, to simply just show thumbnails only. Uh, we can really reduce the amount of information that is heads up on the screen. It's still available, but we can make it uh, much easier and much more, uh, much more uh, accessible for customers to use. So we now have the ability to auto-hide the grid. Uh, we can turn off the, the thumbnail. There's a lot of things that we can do in uh, coming up hands-on we'll see how we can go in and uh, do some of this and, and customize the interface, have it your way. This is a, a, a big customer request and it, it's going to benefit uh, both customers and people that have to uh, show and use the